I'm here in Stanislaus National Forest, and behind me is the ultimate picture of parallel and perpendicular lines. It's always totally amazing to me to see how much geometry I can find in the natural world. I mean, look at all the complementary and um, supplementary angles you can see in this picture. There's acute, there's obtuse. So does geometry that we study mirror our natural world? Or does our natural world mirror the geometry that we study? Well, that's a fascinating question. Which one comes first? Well, we'd have to back up and say, where does the geometry we study actually come from? Well, surprisingly, it is 2,000 years old. Unlike any other area of mathematics, it has been relatively unchanged over that time. We actually get our geometry from a Greek philosopher slash um, editor who wrote a book called The Elements. His name is Euclid, and he lived in Alexandria, Egypt, even though he was Greek. That area of, of Egypt was Greek at the time. So he wrote The Elements, and that's the geometry that we study. But where did those elements come from? From looking at the natural world around us. So where in your world do you see geometry occurring? And I mean in the natural world, not like train tracks, not something that we as humans have created that fit geometry, but where does it naturally occur? <laughs>